Okay, guys, today is Monday, and I just saw this on Twitter, X, or whatever you want to call it. I'm not even sure. We'll just stick with Twitter for now. So I saw this on Twitter, and I just had to make a video. So this city cactus, I guess, is saying the price of Casper is projected to reach 0.06 tomorrow, which is today and expected to further increase to 0.08 the day after. Keep an eye on CASPA as it continues to show upward momentum. And we're going to look at the numbers. So I do agree. I'm not sure if it's today, but definitely this week, it's going to break the six cents mark at 0.06. And we'll look at the numbers real quick. And this is the four-hour chart. And yes, I finally figured out the charts. It took me a while. Uh, I closed it, and when I went back in, it changed. So now I think we have the Fibonacci on here. And this is the MACD and the RSI. And you can see for MACD, we're still having volume. The MACD crossed, and looks like it's going to cross again. But the volume's going down. But if you can see here, we did pass this 0 0.050. And hopefully we'll get, see if I can, dang it. And hopefully we can go on up to this 0 0.051. Looks like we hit it here, hit the resistance and went back down. And now we're starting to build again in the four hour chart. But if you can see, the RSI did go up to above 70. Then we're starting to go back down again. As long as we stay in this 60, was this 60? 60 to 70 range, the price is going to keep going up. So let's go back to the day chart. And I'm trying to figure out how we can. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So for the day chart, there is 6.06 .06. and currently we're right at what is this 0 .0, 0 0.0 0 0.050 so to go up to a whole one cents would be a bit of a stretch unless there's something that boosts the price up today so if there's some exciting news or a new listing, I could see us getting the six cents today or at least the 0 0.052 or 54. But let me know what you think about that in the comments. This is Black Tiger Miner back at you on this Monday. And remember, Caspa, Caspa, Caspa. But I do want to get into this video from uh, Matthew Perry. So Matthew Perry is kind of unique. He keeps talking about Caspa, but he hasn't purchased it. And he keeps saying, if now is a good time to get it, or should he wait? Or if he does get it, he's trying to get it for the lowest price. So again, this is not financial advice. This is just me trying to help you guys out that are new to mining or new to crypto. It doesn't matter if you get in now or if you wait. Right. If it's one cent down, if you're getting you put a thousand dollars in the overall scheme of things, one cent's not going to matter or two cents not going to matter. If you're buying thousands of Caspa, you could DCA in, which is dollar cost average, which I would recommend. So get small pieces at a time versus doing a lump sum purchase. And I think this Matthew Perry is trying to get a lump sum purchase, which the way crypto is now in this bear market, you'd probably want to get it in small pieces and just build a bag up. There's no rush, right? There's no reason to get it all at once. Just get it in uh, affordable chunks. Instead of getting 1,000, get 200 here, 50 there, 150 there, until you get to where you're trying to get. It doesn't make sense to get it all at once, even if you are invested in multiple cryptocurrencies. And that would what i would recommend as well don't put all your money in one bag right create multiple pots of tokens so in case you are trying to create generational wealth 
you have a better chance versus putting it all in one basket and it doesn't pan out. Although Caspa is a unique case. So I could see putting a lot in Caspa, but I would still do it slowly. Because like if you get it all today and the price drops two cents tomorrow, you'll be mad. Versus if you get a little bit today, a little bit tomorrow, a little bit Wednesday, and a little at a time, it's not going to affect you much, these small price changes. But let's see what Matthew has to say, and I'll be right back. Caspa combines the best of both Bitcoin and Ethereum to provide a decentralized currency that acts as a store of value while supporting decentralized finance applications. This right here um, can kind of summarize all the reasons why people want to get into Casper. It shows that opportunity. It shows um, kind of the best of both worlds situation that people really want to see. They want to see a use case. They want to see a community. They want to see belief. They want to see price targets and a, a reasonable supply. And that's what you do see with Casper. So when I look at um, this position, when I look at Casper and where it currently stands, it's at about 4.9 cents, 5 cents. It's been hovering here for a while. We did see it increase over the last day. We saw it increase over the 5 cent mark, but has recently come back as the rest of the market has come back as well. Now, a lot of people believe that we will still see bearish activity within uh, 2023 leading up to 2024, which we will have all of the different type of bullish activity, which is a spot Bitcoin ETF um, or spot Bitcoin ETFs and um, the Bitcoin halving, as well as a decision or ultimate judgment for XRP in, in that case. So it's leading up to uh, a bunch of positive things, but we still have kind of a bearish time in the market is what people think. I have been a big proponent of seeing the end of the year, the holiday season as that building up point to reach 2024 and see it run up to maybe a $1.5 trillion market cap before 2024 pushes it up to 2 trillion, 3 trillion, all of that. But I feel like with Caspa, it's it's like this is the right time to really go through this process of people believing in a, a not newer project, but believing in this project. So currently it's standing at a $1 billion market cap. Um, when people first brought this to me, I believe it was sitting at maybe a $700, $600 million market cap and did push up to about a billion dollar market cap, which is phenomenal. And currently we're sitting on 21 or 22 uh, billion coins that are in circulating supply. Uh, the max supply is 28.7. So it does have that max and it's not just an unlimited supply, which is what makes me very interested in the play. If we look at the last seven days, we have seen nothing but rising from the level of um, you know, four cents. And maybe this shows that we did see a little bit of a retracement that we that I wanted to see, but it did increase, uh, or sorry, decrease down to 42 cents and then increase all the way up to about 50, or sorry, um, I say 42 cents, 4.2 cents, and then increase to about 5 cents. If we look at all year, you can see how this has risen from a level of um, about a, I guess the low is one or 15% of a penny increasing to about a cent, increasing all the way up here to about four cents and then decreasing down to about 1.5, giving people the opportunity to see that. Now, that 1.5 cents, um, I believe it was somewhere around this portion where people were like, hey, you got to make a move into this. It looks like a great opportunity. And honestly, it was, right? You see it at 2,700% uh, up from these, this lower point within the start of the year. Um, now, as we see all of this growth, this is why I'm getting FOMO is because of a lot of people that believe this is going to go from a billion dollars to being worth um, literally like 40, 50, 80, 100 billion dollars being one of those top projects that's out there with a community, with a use case, with a, uh, a bill that everybody loves. And that's where you can see that 80x return from here. So I would be kind of pinching pennies to save dollars. That's where I'm kind of reaching that FOMO. But I've always said that I've been in situations within this last year to where every time I say I'm going to wait and I'm going to, I'm going to wait for that FOMO, I'm not going to um, you know, push into this play, I'm going to wait for the pullback, I always get into it and it decides to pull back. This may be a time that's different, and if it is, I will be upset with myself, 
because I, I may miss out on a 40X, 80X return, if not way more than that, depending on what people really believe that this is going to get to in the ultimate long run, you know, when you see CASPA um, front page news, right? An ADX return would be freaking phenomenal for a lot of people. For me as well, I would love it. I put $1,000 in there, turn it to $80,000. Obviously, I would love it. It's right around the same price range as you see with uh, with CRO. So while I see the opportunity in CRO at a level of $0.05, cents, why do I not see the opportunity in CASPA at $0.05? Cents? Well, I do. I just also see the amount of growth that it has had over the last year and the lack of retracements that we have seen, the one opportunity for a retracement, and then the lack of retracement that we are seeing up at this higher point. So I believe as it did hit a triple top or even quadruple top scenario, that we will see this pull back to a stronger level of about 30 uh, or 3.4 cents. I'm looking at about 3.5 cents as my level to invest. And a lot of people, every time I say that, they're like, you're never going to get into it because it's never going to come back down. This movement while it's great, you still need some form of a retracement. Unless we see an absolute bullish market, we need to see some form of a retracement within this before I make my move. So for me, even though I'm FOMOing, I have to stick it. I have to stick to my guns and go, look, hey, it's about um, patience. Patience is key. And that's why I'm going to wait it out a little bit. And I know some people in the comment section are going to be upset with me. Okay, guys, so let me know what you think. Do you think it's going to retrace down to three or zero, zero, three, two, of which I don't think so, right? I'm not going to argue with him or I'm not going to go back and forth. But as we've been telling you guys, Casper is going to keep going up. It might go down, but it's not going to go down to, what did he say, three? So he's saying it's going to come down here somewhere? Was that 3.2? Be right here. And this is the day chart. So when in doubt, zoom out. And you can see here, it's been above three for some time now. So if we scroll down here, uh, 3.2, I think that last time was the end of August. And since August, it's been consolidating and going up. So I don't think it's going to go down there. Sorry, Matthew. I think it'd be smart to go ahead and get in now or again, like I said before, DCAN, right? You don't have to sell your kidneys or uh, sell your car to buy in. Just buy in what you can and keep going up. Because as you mentioned, if it does uh, 80X, I think he said he put in 1,000 to get 80,000, which, yeah, I'm definitely with that. I definitely agree 100% there. But you can slowly build up to get the thousand in to get eighty thousand, because like you said, I don't think that's happening anytime soon, right? You're definitely going to have plenty of time to watch the price go up. It's not going to go up overnight or within a oh while, wow, within a short time period. It's going to take some high to get there. Like he's saying here, what is this? Zero point zero three eight. And we're currently at 0 0.050. So, yeah, it's definitely going to take some time to get there. So this is nothing that you guys have to buy right away. You don't have to uh, remortgage your house to get it. The way crypto moves, it's a slow, steadily uh, increase. As it's going here in the four-hour chart, right? You see it come up, come down a little bit, come up again. There's some retracement, pull back a little bit, then it goes up again. And I'm not 100% sure what he means by there's no retracement here. Clearly, you see where it was all-time high. Was that the all-time high? Where it was up and it came back down and it went up again and came down. So it's definitely going up and down. So there's definitely plenty of retracement here. And if you can see here, this was a lot of building and then went down a little bit and it took off. Then it came back down, it came down some more came down here, leveled out, and started to build again. And build, and it came down here. So if you can see the pattern, it looks like it went up, came down, built up, came up again, went down a little bit, went up, uh, came down some, went up again. And if you look here, it came down and went back up, and it went down here. 
So if my corrections are right, again, I'm not a financial analyst, but it looks like we're due for a price increase, right? So let me know what you think about it. This is just uh, for entertainment purposes. I'm not a financial advisor and this is not financial advice. This is just me looking at the numbers, giving you guys an idea for entertainment purposes. Remember, CASPA, CASPA, CASPA. At some point, we're going to take off, guys. I'm not going to be a moon boy and be like we're going to the moon. But at some point, from what everybody's saying and all the information I've been putting in my videos, go back and check the video. Most of the time I say it goes up, it goes up, right? Most of the time I say it's going to take off, it takes off. So I'm not 100% sure. I, I can't predict the future. But Casper seems to be a solid investment. And it continues to go up. So I'm not sure if you guys are getting in or if you are in or what do you think about it? So give me some comments, right? Let's let's talk about it. Get in the comment section and let's discuss it. Um, there are some people that are talking about some Mary and somebody about investing in crypto. I have nothing to do with that. I'm only talking about Casper and Casper prices. So if anybody comes to you or DMs you or sends you a message to sign up, or to buy something, don't do it. I'm only here to help you understand the price of Caspa and if it's a good time to get in now and DCA in. So this is Caspa in the last year's up 2,964 and it was up 2,000, I think it got down to 800. So if you can see the price is starting to come back for the month, it's up 8.5%. For the week, it's up 12.7%. Today, it's up 1%. In the last hour, it's up 0.7%. So we'll look at the dashboard. A hash rate is 51.38 petahash. 73.16% has been mined. Next reduction is 14 days, down to 156 cash per block reward. TPS is 1.2. Transactions per second and BPS is 1.2, which is blocks per second. Trading volume is 12 million. Current price is 0 0.047. Uh, market cap is 1 billion. And if you notice, once we got over that 1 billion market cap, a lot more people have been paying attention to it. For a while, it was under a billion market cap, and not a whole lot of people is paying attention to it. But like I mentioned before, once it passed the billion market cap, things are starting to heat up, right? Things are definitely starting to heat up. So even if you don't invest in Caspa, just keep an eye on it. So for the last hour, we're up 0 0.76. For the last 24 hours, we're up 0 0.88. Last seven days, we're up 14.82%. And the last 30 days, we're up 9.9%. Last 90 days, we're up 37.48%. In the last year, we're up 3,150. Quick shout out to our guys at CoinGecko. And I'm trying to see, no. CoinGecko has us still ranked at 44. It was 43, so I'm not sure if it went up or down. Last 24 hours, we're at 0 0.0496. For the low, for the high, 0 0.050. Uh, last seven days, 0 0.0433. And for the low, for the high, 0 0.051. Trading volume is 8.8 .8 million. And all-time high, 0 0.053. And that's negative 6.38. And that was a month ago, September 2023. And if you notice in these videos I'm making, this all-time high number percentage is going down. So we're getting closer and closer to a new all-time high. I'm not a mathematician, but I think we're going to hit a new all-time high soon. All I can say is shout out to a friend of mine. Cash money is the army. Better get the navy. So we're up to nine. Or was that negative 6.38? Keep an eye on it. I think this week we're going to hit a new all-time high. This is Black Tiger Miner signing out. Remember, Caspa, Caspa, Caspa.
and let's get back to the money, guys. <laughs> 